friends! We're going to craft today with a really fun item. Stay tuned to find out what it is. Welcome back to A Perfect Place to Start or welcome here if you are new. In today's video we are going to be using buttons to create some really cute decor. And we're going to start out with these cards. Now I picked up this whole package of cards at Hobby Lobby. They were $8.99. They are Paper Studio so if you are wanting to wait until they go on sale they would be 40% off and that is a great savings. If you don't want to make them into cards any of these projects today can be made into wall decor and I'm going to show you how to do that later in the video. So first we're going to start out with this pink card and we're using pink ribbon. Now these can be customizable to anything that you might like. I have so many buttons I was gifted several years ago and I thought this would be a really fun way to use them up. There are several project inspiration ideas on Pinterest. Look up ways to use buttons or button crafts and you will find all kinds of inspiration. So the first thing we're going to do is stagger our buttons. I'm using a variety of blue buttons here, uh, but you can use different colors as well if you would like. Then we're going to take a very um, thin pen. This is, I think, about a 0 0.5. I'm going to add my stems. I added a few leaves, and then I added a little bit of grass at the very bottom of my flowers. I love how this turned it out. It's definitely artistic, and you can draw or do whatever you want. However, you don't need a lot of artistic ability to create this because if you know anything about me, you know that drawing is definitely not a skill that I was blessed with, unfortunately. But here it is styled for you guys. Let me know what you think about this one. If you love card crafts, let me know. I used to do cards all the time, and I'd love to create some more for you if that is what you're into. Leave a comment down in the comments below and let me know. Now for this project, we're going to create our button art onto a canvas. This canvas came from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to, again, be using only blue buttons. Now, this is totally customizable, and we're up to you, whatever you choose, or whatever buttons you might have on. And the Dollar Tree does sell buttons. They're usually a multi-pack, or you can find black ones. Um, I'm going to be using buttons that are blue this time, and they are from Buttons Galore. This is not sponsored in any way. These were gifted to me, but I will leave the Buttons Galore website down below if you want to check it out. So I know it's hard to tell what we're making here because this looks kind of weird, but we are going to be making a jellyfish. So I just drew a circle, and then I added blue buttons all around the line that I drew to hide my pen mark. Then I'm going to take my buttons and I'm going to fill in the inside of the circle. So this is a bit time consuming put on a show or a podcast. I am a huge podcast lover so I tend to listen to podcasts while I craft. I am loving Dateline and 2020 right now. If you're a podcast listener let me know down in the comments what podcast is your favorite right now. As I add these buttons, there are a few little holes in the circle, so we're just going to go over where there might be any white space and add buttons on top. That also gives it a lot of dimension and different colors, and I just really love the like ombre effect of this. Now, this is my favorite project of the day. I absolutely love how this turned out. And like I said, it's customizable. If you have different colored buttons or you want to make a different color jellyfish, it's totally up to you. So once I get all the buttons there, we're now going to add our tentacles, and I'm using ribbon for this. This is just regular ro uh, Rogaine ribbon. I believe this came from Hobby Lobby. It was also gifted to me, but it's just the very thin kind that you can pick up there. So I'm going to be using a light blue and a white for this, which is complementary to our buttons that are in our main jellyfish body. Once I get those all cut off and I just measured like down at the bottom, I'm going to glue all of the white ones on first and then I'm going to go back and hot glue the blue ones in. So once I get them all glued like onto my surface, I want to make it a little bit more flowy. So I'm going to go ahead and add ribbons on top of the ribbons I've already glued there. I know that might be kind of confusing, so you can just watch and see as I'm crafting here. Now, if you can tell, some of my ribbon is a little bit longer than my canvas, and that is okay because we're going to trim that off at the very end when we're all done. 
So there in between my white spots, I'm going to go ahead and glue my blue ribbon. And this is just getting glued directly onto my canvas. I'm going to do that for each individual place between my tentacles. Now there are several other sea creatures that would look really cute with these buttons as well. Um, this was just one that I thought was adorable. So once I get all the ribbons glued on, I'm going to take some more buttons and just go around the very bottom of my ribbon where the ribbon meets the button. That way I don't have a seam and it looks like um, I have one continuous project. Now you could have glued your ribbon down previous to gluing the body of the jellyfish. I didn't do that because I wanted to make sure that it was even. I went ahead and did a couple extra buttons around the side to kind of make it look a little bit more uniform. And that is it for this project. It's pretty simple, like I said, a little time consuming, but it's absolutely gorgeous and I love how it turned out. Let me know what you guys think about this one. This is a super simple project that anyone can do, grandkids, kids, or yourself if you're into farm animals. But all we're gonna do is add one really big pink button to the middle of our pink card. I'm using my 0.5 pen. I picked these up at Hobby Lobby over in the planner section. They are Paper Studio and you can get them for 40% off. They're my favorite planner pen. If you guys know me at all, you know I love planners. I talk about them all the time. If you're ever interested in that, let me know. Maybe I'll make a post on Instagram. But we're going to add just two little tiny buttons at the top for the ears and then we're going to add a curly, a curly cue for the tail and that is it. This is easy and would make a really adorable wall decor piece if you wanted to do that as well. For this project we're going to make a thank you card and this could not be any simpler. I absolutely love how it turned out. Now there's a couple different ways that you could do this. We're going to be adding buttons to create a 1 million number so we're just going to add them in groups of three and then we'll add our commas at the end. So I go ahead and write the word thanks under our million buttons like 1 million thanks but you could also add the thanks above the buttons and it would say thanks a million so there's a, diff a couple different ways that you could do that but once we get all of our buttons on we're going to take our pen just add our comma and then I just hand wrote the word thanks if you don't like your handwriting stickers or stamps would work perfectly here and that is it for this card let me know what you guys think about this one So I think that this project would make a really cute valentine card or wall decor gift. This would also be cute for a wedding or an anniversary. We're going to start out by drawing our triangle and if I, as I mentioned before I am no artist so if I can make this you guys can make it too. Um, we're going to go ahead and add some buttons for our heads. So the pink button is obviously the girl. We're going to add some tiny buttons into our triangle so you can make the triangle any size you want if you want it to be a little bit bigger and add some more buttons into the middle that would be adorable as well if I was making this into a wall decor piece that is definitely what I would do make the dress bigger so once I get that on there I'm going to draw myself some legs and some arms this turns out so adorable I absolutely love it and I definitely think I'm going to give it to my husband for Valentine's Day but once I get their arms and legs on they're kind of holding hands here then I'm going to add two tiny buttons underneath our yellow button that is our boy button and it's going to act as a bow tie so you want some really tiny buttons here just so that it's not like overtaking it. I had to kind of play around here a little bit with some button sizes just so I could get the smallest buttons I had on hand. Once I glue those on, I decide our card needs a little bit of sunshine. So I take that really big yellow button that you can see off to the right and I'm going to go ahead and glue that into the top right hand corner. 
I'm going to add some little sunshine lines because why not? It's doodly and our bodies are already doodly, so I think that's adorable. Once I get our little sunshine lines on, that is it for this project. And like I said, this would make an adorable wall decor piece as well. Let me know what you guys think about this one. So for this project, we're going to use some twine. I have these already pre-cut twine pieces, so I'm using those and just cutting them into smaller pieces. If you have a roll of twine, that will work too. You're just going to pick a desired length that you would like it to be, and then you're going to cut several of those pieces. So if you haven't figured out what we're making here, we are making a bunch of balloons. We're going to go ahead and take our twine and glue it to the card. Now, I wish I had kind of tied these in a knot first to give it more of a bunch effect, but we're going to go ahead and add something at the end that kind of fixes that issue. So if you're like me and you glued them on this way, it'll work just as well. So we're going to go ahead and take our buttons and we're going to start gluing them onto the card. I just want to caution you, like my hot glue gun is so hot and I did severely burn myself during these projects. So definitely if you have a hot glue gun that has a low temp, go ahead and put it on a low temp. I keep telling myself to buy a new glue gun. This is definitely a good reason to get a new one. So be on the lookout out hopefully I'll be able to get a new one soon but once I get all my buttons added to the top then we're going to take some more twine and we're going to add a little bow that's how we're going to fix our kind of weird issue of our string at the bottom we're going to add it right underneath the bunch of buttons which is our balloons and I think this gives it such a fun 3d look plus it gives it a little bit more cohesive as a balloon look let me know what you guys think about this one This video was so fun and different. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did making it. If you want to keep crafting with me, check out this video next for some Dollar Tree inspiration. And as always, wherever you are in your journey is a perfect place to start. And I will see you in my next video. Bye friends.